well children, always remember to focus the laser um, before you use it. I just wasted a half hour doing the bottom strip there and I totally forgot to focus it. So I'm redoing it again now with it focused. So <clears throat> I don't know how well you can hear me here, but I've got the air uh, filtration system going. I've got the craft laser going. I did the camera calibration. So I had that wood and now I'm just doing some random uh, clip art kind of stuff that's in there. We'll go ahead and take a look at that. So far, I, I really, really like this thing. It is um, it's pretty great. You've got so much viewing here and in here. We can see what's going on. There's room back there for me to put a GoPro. But yeah, this thing's pretty cool. Right now, I'm just using their software. I'm just doing their logo and some Christmassy stuff. Just playing around on this test sheet, seeing, uh, seeing what's what. But yeah. All right, so it took about 10 minutes to do that right there. Uh, it took 11 minutes and three seconds to right now. So yeah, about 10 minutes, 10 and a half minutes. It started the next thing. I have one, two, three, four, five things going. The last three should be a lot quicker. Uh, overall, it seems to think that there's about 37 minutes left. It seems to be keeping pretty consistent time. And yeah, we'll just come back when this is done and go ahead and take a look at these. Uh, these are my first burns on here again. So, you know, I don't have any settings dialed in. I just picked three millimeter basswood and let it go. And I'm, I'm really happy with what I did there. Uh, sorry, my finger's there. It came through and did it and it was all black. And then it did another pass and lightened it up. And then like, you can see the wood texture and stuff in there. I, I'm, I'm excited to get this out and actually take a look at it when it's done. And then we're gonna do some metal and stuff in here. I'm, I'm still waiting for the air assist to come. The air assist unit hasn't come yet. It's, it's, it's coming, but so I'm not gonna do a whole lot of wood today, but I had this sheet in there and I was like, well, let's play around with it for a minute. So we just finished here. My little test on wood. I'll, I'll explore wood a lot more in another video. This is only wood I'm gonna do for the day. Let's get out of here. Take a look at it. So yeah, um, I said it was gonna take 40 minutes and it finished like five minutes later. It's just, you got some nice surface there. I can really like that. I, you, it's hard to appreciate on camera, but you can see that. And again, that's just two of their little clip art files. Um, I will reference those for settings when I try to make my own versions of these. And then, you know, we've got some nice line work here. Very crisp and clean. And yeah, it's over the test pattern and stuff because I was just trying to reuse this sheet of wood. Now, I'm not going to cut anything out in this video. Um, I want the air assist for that. So we'll, we'll check that out in another video, and I might try to make another wood Game Boy. Um, we'll see. But yeah, it's Christmas uh, in a few days when I'm recording this. So I did some little Christmas-themed outlines there. But yeah, this thing is pretty cool. Um, I will say one thing here. Hang on a second there. Don't mind me, I'm watching Usagi Electric. Um, when you go to shut the lid, it really wants to slam. Once you get it to here, those hinges, they just want to let go and just slam it right out of here. Or make, make your hands let go and slam it down. So, yeah, you really want to hang on to this handle when you're lowering from about there because there's a significant foot pounds there pushing down now. That, that spring is very much loaded. I have slammed this thing down so many times. Fortunately, it's acrylic. If it was glass, it would have been done on the first one. But something to think about there. That is my only real complaint so far with this machine. Um, their software is still pretty new. You can see it here a little. It has a lot of features. It's somewhere between like Lightburn and some of the competitor softwares, but it's really, really new. So it, 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 you know, I'm sure they'll add a lot more features to it as it goes. You've got a lot of room in here. Again, there's that little shelf. I think I'm going to be able to fit a GoPro on just fine to get you some metal footage. It comes with a nice big honeycomb. It comes out. You've got all of your ports over here on the left. I would prefer them on the right, but it is what it is. It's your Wi-Fi antenna. You've got um, a fire safety thing. Accessories, uh, I'm not sure what accessories they plan, but the port is there. You have your uh, 
safety key here. If that's not in, the laser won't run. So if you have children, you just pop that out and put it somewhere. You can have a, a screen attached, you know, your computer, your power, and then the air assist power. You do have your adjustment screws um, over there for the belt tension. And there's one over here. And then you have your power. I'm sorry, not your power, your power switch is right there. And then you've got the nice camera here. And I just love this thing. So let's get some metal out. Um, not sure what I'm gonna do yet, but we'll probably start with some stainless steel. This Atom Stack Craft is like, hands down, my favorite, pardon me, my favorite um, blue and infrared laser right now. Um, I've only done the blue, but I'm sure the infrared's gonna be pretty cool, so uh, we'll get that metal going, and yeah. I just wasted a half hour doing the bottom strip there, and I totally forgot to focus it. I'm redoing it again now with it focused. I wasn't getting anything out of the infrared, and I was like, what is going on? So I focused it and then did it there at the bottom, and it worked great. So now I'm just doing a whole line where I have it focused. So, <laughs> I don't know. I just need some more sleep. Uh, rookie mistake, and I'm not a rookie. <laughs> so keep that in mind. I think I'm done messing with the uh, stainless steel for today. Um, this just finished. I'm sure it's cool enough to pick up. Let's take a look at this here. So I'm still learning the settings, dialing them in. Let me set this down here and adjust my hands. Ignore this one. This is the one I forgot to put in focus, the bottom. So we went on to the second and obviously the blue laser doesn't do very well. The IR, you know, puts that surface layer on there. But when I do both, you can actually feel, even on the one that wasn't in focus, you can start to feel where you've actually got into the metal. And it was throwing sparks. This was at, this was at 100 and 100. So it's 100 millimeters a minute and 100% power. When I jump up to the 50, It's actually not that much different. However, when I did the 50 times two, it gets even deeper. Let's see if I can get a better angle of that. Yeah, see that? It's a little bit better. You can kind of see some of the depth there. Pretty cool. And then I just came in here and did their logo um, to see what that would look like. And you can really feel that roughed up texture if it would focus. It doesn't like the shiny. Um, like I could strike a match on that for sure. So pretty cool. Um, I would stick to probably the 100 by 50 uh, with two passes. It seems to be the best that I've got out of them. Although the 100 by 100 was pretty cool too. I just like the deeper grooves there. And then I messed around with a T and a square. I was going to try doing 10 passes with a square and it was going to take way too long. So then I'm going to do 10 passes with a T and it was still going to take quite a long time. But yeah, I'm really happy with that with stainless. Um, I'll have to think of some stuff to do in future videos with this. But now I'm going to go ahead and get out uh, some of these slate coasters. I really like these things and I want to start dialing in the settings the same way with the blue, the infrared, and um, both at the same time. So yeah, let's do that. Well, I think that's about all I'm gonna do with this today. We're coming up on Christmas and I got a lot of stuff to do. Um, I look forward to playing with this more later, but let's take a look at this slate coaster real quick. So this is both lasers at once. Um, let me see my setting real quick. I did this at 50 power and 1500 millimeters a minute. And it came out just as good as any other laser, maybe even a little bit better. And I like what the both lasers do to it. It gives it an interesting, almost shiny appearance. Um, when I've done this with just a blue diode or with just an infrared laser, or even just with my fiber laser, my 20 watt fiber, you just get kind of like a dull white, but this almost has like a metallic kind of look. And it's definitely in there way more than the blue or infrared would do on their own. It feels a lot more like when I do it with a fiber laser. Um, 
I did not clear coat these. If you use a matte acrylic on these coasters and then engrave them, you get a nice pop. And this is completely without that. So very nice. Um, I did stop it as it was going back around the outside line again, um, just for time's sake. This took about 28 minutes. I bet I could speed this up a lot, but I have things I have to get to doing. So I need to wrap this up. Um, this is the Craft Laser. I absolutely love this thing. This is from Adam Stack. Don't mind this. This is um, where smoke hit like my fingerprints and stuff. I'll just get in there with some Windex and that'll clean right up. But yeah, this is the Adam Stack Craft. They do have the air filter as an option. And I just love this thing. It's got the blue laser and the infrared laser and you can run those two together. And uh, it's just, I don't know, everything about it is so nice. You get these really nice built-in lights. They have been on for five hours and you know, they're like room temperature. You've got huge space in here that's oversized from your work area. So if something's a little bit bigger, it'll still fit in there. You know, the fan's nice and up at the top. So in theory, everything should raise up to it and be able to be channeled out. You've got, you know, your emergency stop power button over here. So if you need to stop it real quick, you just flip the switch. Um, some have like those little twist and whatever things, but this one doesn't. I, I think I like the switch better because sometimes you push those stop buttons and they don't actually stop or you have to like really jam it in or, you know, you're like, why well, I want the laser? Oh, because I accidentally bumped it and it's, you know, so I, I, I like that it's got just the, the normal switch. And then again, over here is all of your ports and everything. Um, yeah. It's a great little laser. Again, there's the camera. There's me in the reflection. Hey, don't mind the little sad Christmas tree. <laughs> like I said, uh, it's almost Christmas. And yeah, oh, man, I can't wait to play with this thing more. Stay tuned. I'm going to I'm gonna mess with this with some wood here in the future. Um, cut some stuff out. I didn't really get around to doing that today. But let's just, even this metal again, like, I like how rough that surface is. I almost want to, like take some of my thicker spined knives that I use for like batoning wood when I go in camping and like just put that rough texture on the back so I can have a, a an extra surface to strike matches because I'm positive a match will strike on that. Um, yeah, I don't know. You know, this, this thing's fun. I, I really look forward to tinkering with the dual laser mode. I'm rambling at this point. There's a link to this in the description. There's going to be a link to this in the sticky comment as well. Uh, let me know you want to see me do with this. And if you've ever used a uh, blue and infrared laser simultaneously, like I would love any tips in the comments. Just throw those down there. If you get one of these, let me know. Um, I'm sure you will learn things that I haven't learned and vice versa. And maybe we can like help each other out because this is new using the dual technology at the same time to me. So yeah, I, I will say um, I showed you their software and it's pretty decent. Um, it does work with light burn. You know, you'll have to set it up and everything, but it's nice that their software is actually decent and works pretty good. Um, I haven't had no problems with it whatsoever. So, yeah, that's it. I will see you guys in the next video, and thanks for coming by.